Good morning, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. I'm good morning with Michael Sorg. Sorgatron.com, the Twitters and the YouTubes and the iTunes and all the places you want to hear this. Whatever is more convenient for you. And of course, uh, this week, um, uh, you may have noticed a little bit of a release just yesterday, just on Monday. Uh, we released a little video first in a series. We got five more of these coming. Of course, I'm talking about Sawtooth Willie. Of course, made a conscious decision of just going with that because I, th- I figured, you know, the explanative, I don't mind the explanatives, but I don't think it needs to be right up there in the title. So, uh, full name, his full, uh, his full, uh, uh, Christian name is, uh, Sawtooth Willie Birdshit. And of course, you know, you may recognize, uh, Will, DJ Lunchbox from the Wrestling Mayhem show in this role. Um, it was a lot of fun to film this. This is a character that I know he's kind of workshopped for a little bit. It would pop up every once in a while when we were playing around on uh, on Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold, which you can pick up on the Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show if you're a donator uh, and become our boss. Um, and, uh, you know, I, 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 I think I've, I've discussed, like, when we're talking about the green screen shoes for our Yik Yak videos, this is part of that kind of uh, brain trust coalition that we've been trying to do here with uh, Will and, and Katie, um, trying to just find some fun things to do, something different to put out there, and just play a little bit, right? Play in the space, play with doing different kinds of videos, but using the green screen that we have down here, um, you know, doing doing this kind of thing and just, just letting letting uh, uh, Will here go with this character and have fun with it, you know. Uh, we did, did a little bit of makeup if you're if you're checking out the video. And you can check it out. It's over at YouTube.com slash Sorgatron Media. I actually got a new playlist they have going over there with these projects since we have a couple of them in the can now. Um, so uh, go look at the Sorgatron Media creative playlist over there and uh and i think we'll kind of dig that and of course the two yik yak videos that we've had up um are 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 there i got so such great uh great feedback from from this last one the valentine's day one um so definitely please go check that out even though it's a little bit past the holiday um but no, this was a lot of fun, and we we got to play a little bit with uh, uh with stuff like just for fun. Um, at the last minute, we went ahead and threw up a uh, Google Hangout live stream of the other side of the studio. I figure it's right over there from where I'm recording, even right now. We have webcams around, so you just kind of turn the one that uh usually usually pointed at our guests over on the couch, and we got to see this. Uh, and yeah, that, that that set is is the the interesting space underneath my bass and snares. I I don't know what exactly we found so many tools and and whatever in there and the, 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 the this thing was built out and it's awfully too small of a space for me and, and my six foot four stature but the perfect place to to let Will go in there and 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 make way with uh you know being the underground of Pittsburgh like this became with a little bit of effects, a little bit of makeup, um, and, and having a little bit of fun with that, you know, um, and it was a tremendous project. And, and I'm again, getting really good feedback on this. We actually have about five more episodes in the can. So this will be kind of a six episode series. Um, and, and you never know. And, and there's another series that kind of goes with it that we're, uh, hoping to, to develop here in the, you know, next couple of, Next couple of months, I guess, um, you know, working on the logistics of that. And again, kind of this kind of untold Pittsburgh um, aspect that we're hitting up. Um, some don't know that LB has, there's a hobo with Starbucks. That was one of our fun little things. Um, you know, so many, he, for a while, uh, uh, Will used to do a uh, untold secrets of Pittsburgh. It comes from, you know, completely untrue facts, or are they? Um, of, of Pittsburgh. And I think that's where a lot of these characters have kind of come from. Um, you know, Sawtooth, you know, being one of them, being a hobo, being the boxcar bu- beautician. He name drops uh, Soapy Maslow, a, uh, a a former mayor of Pittsburgh, you know, uh, from the 80s, I believe. And I think she just passed, actually, within the past year or so. Um, so, you know, again, very Pittsburgh-based, you know, and um, and something that's been on on kind of the the queue for a little bit. Um, yeah, why are we doing these projects? You know, obviously these aren't like you know uh, the the paying gigs, the clients, or anything. You know, really, just expand, expand a little bit. You know, um, get outside of our comfort zones. Um, get outside of you know, uh, hey, we sit down Tuesday nights and we talk about X, Y, and Z. You know, or every morning now with me with this and the and the mini shows that we've been doing. Um, and just creating more stuff. Um, you know, I, I, you know, at the beginning of the year, I may have talked about on here. I had the the uh, concept of I just want to do more things. Uh, kind of that we get noticed. 
<laughs> I want I want to have so much stuff coming out from this little operation that that you can't ignore Sorgatron Media and the stuff that we're doing, you know, and, and the stuff that you know, these. I've always been a big believer in um, really kind of giving platforms to my friends that I believe are creative, and I want more people to know that. Um, and that, you know, with with Will and Katie, I mean, that's like definitely on the highest end. And a lot of other people, you know, that we've had on the podcast, you know, I feel the very same way. That have really stepped up, you know, um, you know, guys like like Mad Mike up in New York and and Eamon down in Texas. Hell, look at Eamon down. You know, we we gave him a platform on a podcast, and he he's taking the ball and freaking running with it with uh what he's doing helping out inspire pro down there uh as as the ringside commentator and and now she's doing marketing and social media for those guys down there it's tremendous from a 15 year old that used to uh write into our podcast several years ago right um you know and it's really cool to see those kind of things develop and i'm hoping we get some really cool things out of um out of what's happening here and and you never know where it's going to go you know um definitely you know inspired by uh, even more so by the steel town um event that i attended uh, a week ago i talked about last week on this at over at sorgatron.com um you know of creating something you know more than just like the talking head stuff that we've been doing like this you know well i, I love doing this like i feel like um i find i feel like i've settled into this role as a radio announcer i don't know if there's much i can do as a radio announcer but um you know and, and i'm sure you know anybody who actually has a communications degree is going to freaking laugh at me you know um because i'm i'm not trained for the radio or anything like that but then again what jobs are left in the radio i wouldn't mind it. if somebody knows how the hell i could get into a radio gig you know just just for fun you know like and, and that's a, that's another thing like how many jobs um you know, I have in line in my head, and I was like, it'd be cool to tr do that for a little bit. Like, I got an opportunity to teach as an adjunct, right? I, I kind of wanted to teach for a little bit, you know? It wasn't a, yeah, yeah, I want to see how I could do that. And I enjoyed it, you know? Um, I feel like, you know, if I had the opportunity to do, like, a talk show on, like, a local am radio whatever might be an opportunity you know i'd love to have fun with that you know and, and see what i could do there and see what we could create in that space you know um, um having that kind of restriction you know uh, for a little bit i was adapting some of our stuff for uh pc tv locally and I, I still battle with the idea of like maybe maybe i should take some of this stuff and 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 do that you know you know kind of donate some content you know um i don't know how much it does but you know if nothing else you know this stuff you know we get our stuff on tv you never know who in the city it, it, you could expose what we do here to i guess um you know obviously i can't run advertisers on on cable access you know um but i have that opening you know uh, it's there you know and and where where is that cross section too where is that cross section between like having that public space to do that on cable in your region versus do we really need that anymore when we have youtube right you know it used to be it's turning into a whole other conversation, but it used to be, uh, I want to be Wayne's world, right? And you go do that. And now this is the Wayne's world is what I'm doing here in my basement. Uh, really fitting considering the Wayne's world kind of uh, 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 a skit they did on the NS SNL 20, or I'm sorry, SNL 40 uh, anniversary uh, this past Sunday, right? I mean, these are the new Wayne's worlds. And these little Wayne's worlds like this are popping up all over the place, talking about pro wrestling, talking about video games, you know, PewDiePie, you know, I, I, I would, I would, uh, the YouTubers, the famous YouTubers, I think are all kind of the Wayne's worlds of, of this generation, uh, with your I just teens and your PewDiePie, PewDiePies, excuse me. Um, and these other like kind of productions made out of your house. If you ever, jeez, uh, the YouTubers, I think it was called on, just look up YouTubers on, on, Netflix there's a good documentary about some of those people um that just kind of created something and now have you know a little bit of fame out of it you know um you know that Wayne's World fame you know that that basement fame that cable access fame but now that cable access is is a world access and it's really really interesting um do I think we're gonna get Sawtooth there I don't know we'll see all we can do is create some stuff and see how how people respond to it you know um and uh, this is no exception, you know, and uh, we'll see. What do you think? What do you think of the Sawtooth videos? It'll be linked in the post over at Sorgatron.com. If you haven't checked it out, SorgatronMedia.com. We're posting it as well. Please subscribe to Good Morning 
with Michael Sorg on YouTube. And please subscribe to the Sorgatron media feed. I know it's kind of been dormant and weird, and and I've just been kind of linking other playlists of stuff we're doing around here. I've kind of reformed that a little bit, and you will get new content here on a quasi-regular basis, at least uh, weekly for the next five weeks. Um, and, uh, we're, we are very, I mean, we've done it for a couple months here. We're very adamant about, we're getting together once a month with our ideas and we're going to make something. Plus we have other stuff going on. Um, uh, I'm going to have to get it to it later this week, but the steel city kitties visit that Katie and, uh, Missy did. And we're going to try to do that a little bit too. try to get them around town and have fun and, with the camera and see what happens. You know, there's, there's a lot of that. Let's see what happens. Let's see where this goes. You know, um, that's how we started some of the stuff around here that had been around for a good long time and and paid the bills for a little bit you know and and have been and will in the future so so let me know about that we think about top tooth willy any ideas um uh, about that what do you think about cable access in the in the in the world access we have with youtube let me know and uh, have a good morning This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.